in the dplyr library, you use the select function to extract columns of interest, either by the column name or by using special functions that you can pass into the select function. So we'll just start by looking at the basic usage of select. We're going to load in the Titanic disaster training data set from Kaggle. And then we're just going to use select to get some of the columns. So we're going to pipe the data into select. And we're going to just get these four columns, name, age, sex, and survived. We're just going to look at the heads of those. Basically what select is doing is just allowing us to pick out these four columns by name and return only those and nothing else. So run that and we see that we do have four columns there. Now you can also select columns by the negation of names using minus. Basically you can pass in whatever columns you don't want to get and get everything other than those. So we'll show how to do that here. We're just doing the same thing. We're piping data to select, but in this case we're saying minus name, which will get us every column other than the name column, which in this particular data set, the names can be fairly long. So this might actually be something you'd want to do because the, including the name column makes it hard to see all the data all at once. So run that. You can see most of the variables here and the name column is gone. You can also select columns with ranges using a colon. So for instance, we could select all the columns between the sex column and ticket column by putting a colon between them and quoting them within select. So we'll run this and that should select everything between here and here. And it's inclusive, so it should get one, two, three, four, five total columns. Run that and it did get five of them. Now you can also select columns by matching specific strings either at the beginning, end, or in the middle of column names. So I'll show how to do that. If you want to select something that starts with a given character or character string, you can pipe data to select and then use this starts with function with whatever string you want it to start with. In this case, we're saying any column that starts with a capital S, we will return. In this case, there are three of those in this data set. You can do the same thing at the end. So you can do select ends with and then some character string. This is going to select any columns that end with a lowercase e. We'll see, there are also three of those. And you can also select columns that match a given string or regular expression even within anywhere inside the column's name. So to do that, you use the matches function. So here we're selecting from the data, select any column that matches this regular expression. And all this is saying is, any character followed by an lowercase e followed by any other character. And we're seeing what those matches will be. Apparently there are five different columns that match that. So these variable selection methods should allow you to subset your data using any columns of interest. Now that we know how to filter data by rows and select data by columns, in the next lesson, we're going to go over methods for organizing columns, which include the rename function and the arrange function. So see you in the next lesson.